Lisp has number of basic function. In this video, we will discuss about uh, primitive evaluation of primitive function. So, some primitive numeric functions are there. So, we explain of evaluation of Lisp objects through example preceded by some explanatory remarks if required. So, some primitive numeric functions are here. For example, here is a three, four, eight, eleven, minus and two. Or we can use instead of this plus sign this word. So after adding all values, there is uh, our answer, our value is twenty four. So this is a function call and this is a value. Okay. Then next one difference. You can the expression the function call is minus 13 and 55. And we can write difference 1353 like this also. And answer is value is minus 42. So this is the input value and this is the output value. We can write in this form or this. So next is times or multiplication may take any finite number of appropriate arguments. So we can write it like this or times 2, 3, 4, it's this. So if we multiply th these three numbers, then the value is 24. 2, 3 is a 6, 6, 4 is a 24. Okay, then next. And this is quotient or this is the sign of division takes exactly two arguments. So there is a 9 and 3. If we divide 9 by 3, then the quotient is 3. So the value is here 3. Then this is minus 57 and we can write it in this and the value is this. So only one argument is here exponent function so this is so we can write it like this exponent 3 2 this is a function call and value after uh, the exponent of 3 is 2 so 3 into 3 is 9 so here is square and the square if we take out the square root of 4 the answer will be 2 so this is a positive square root or this is an exponential function. Then finite number of appropriate arguments. So here is max 8, 11, 9, 6. So there is a maximum number is here 11. So value is uh, this function call is 11. And there is 8, 11, 9, 7. There is a minimum value is 7. So there is the, the input is this and output is 7. Truncate returns the quotient in integer division neglecting the remainder. If we truncate 14 and 4 divided by 14, 14 divided by 4 then the then we get the remainder is if we divide 14 by 4 then we get question 3 and ignoring or neglecting the remainder the value is 3 here. So remainder returns the remainder on division. So here is remainder 14 and 4. If we divide 14 by 4, then the question will be 3 and the remainder will be 2. So here is value is 2. Round off. There is round 14.3. This is a function call and value is 14 because we are rounding off and this, is le this number is uh, less than 5. And here is round 14.6. So this after decimal number is 6. So value is now 15. Integer argument returns nil. Float 14. So for float value is in decimal. So there is the value is 14.0. So primitive list manipulation functions. So CAR and CDR is very important here. 
so we have already mentioned the programming language this is mainly designed for symbolic processing through it may be used for numeric purposes also symbolic processing in lisp is mainly about manipulating lists so have we considered main list processing operation there is char it takes a list as an argument and return the first element of the list return the first element of list for example if we write here this is the example char and go sorry quote t and c is evaluated evaluated to the atom d because d is a first element of the list so the evaluated to d okay so this is the this is a cdr so in cdr it to be pronounced is a qt so also takes a list its argument and return obtained from the given list by deleting its first element so for example here is cd or uh, qdir and quote d c so return the list b c b c Turn the list B C here. I am I am telling you a list because this is in within the parenthesis. I already explained about S expression or list in our, my previous video. You can go and see about the S expression on this video. Okay. So now next is cons takes two argument and the first may be any valid S expression, but the second must be a list. So then, cons returns a new list in which the first argument is the first element in the return list, followed by element of the list given a second argument, and the preserving the earlier order of occurrence in the second argument. So, for example, cons. Let's see with the example. For example, here. And seven return the list and it return the list this. So this is the value. Or here is so green is the answer. So next is a list. So it may take any number of parameters. 
each of which is an S expression. It evaluates the parameter and then the arguments so obtained are grouped into a list in the same order and the corresponding parameter are given if the inputs are so let's see set q for example set q x then quote a b and set q y see this example here and are followed by the input s expression list x y null then the evaluation last expression we get x intelligence eb so let's see mm, write the another one and are followed by input expression so input expression is list x y intelligence followed by list x y and knowledge y so after evaluation we get list x intelligence and here is a b and knowledge y So it returns this. All answers in green. Then append. I think you already knew about the append. In append, it, what we do? We draw, we take like concatenation. As expression set Q quote A B and set Q Y C D are followed by append X Y and A B. I think I will write and you can understand better with the example. So here is append example. Let's see set Q X code A B and set q y so 
so here is append x y then reverse takes a list as its argument reverses the top elements of the argument so i am not writing about the reverse because reverse if there is x y and ab so we will by reversing ab is here and x y is there but it's append statement if there is no append we will write here reverse then it will okay and in length again takes a list of its argument return the number of top level elements for example if there is 4 and 7 but there is an this is a list so it will count 1 okay if the elements are not in list so we can count and put their length here we can write the length is 2 so last again takes a list as argument return the last top level element of list so here is the last top level element is uh, is here is cd okay then substitute in substitute uh, Substitute stand for substitution. Take three arguments such each occurrence of second argument in the third argument and replace by first argument and second argument must be an atom. So evil. In some situation we may need another evil in addition to the evaluation provided by read evil print loop. The function evil is explained with the with the examples. Uh, you can see the evil examples in my previous video. Uh, for example, set q x port y or set q y z then x evaluates to y but evil x evaluates to z okay so in our next video we will discuss about the built-in predicates logical operators evaluation of special form in involving different and condition and lot more thanks for